Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, today what I want to be showing you guys um, is the stuff that I've picked up over the last uh, month. This is going to be the month of October 2020. Um, I got a bunch of Lego stuff here to show you guys. Uh, a bunch of game, random game systems. I mean Switch and, and PlayStation and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little heads up in here. It's hard to shoot these videos now with, you know, a little baby and stuff in here. But as he's getting older, it's, you know, it's slowly coming back a little bit. So, you know, I have a little bit of time while the wife's watching little one right now. I can, I can film this. So I want to get this one out to you. Let's start you guys off here with some of these, uh, some of these Lego things here. This was the Super Mario Edition, uh, Lego. This is the one with the uh, actual Mario himself, and it's kind of a weird box, but you set him on top of the pieces and his eyes and stuff light up and makes noises and things. <clears throat> That's cool to have that. Here's another one here. This one is uh, Womp's Lava Trouble. This is the uh, little pack here. As these things start to roll out, it's it's uh, it's cool to, to pick these up as they're going. It'd be cool to have the whole set in here. I don't know what we can find anymore, but we'll see. Um, this is Desert Pokey. Got that one on there. Just show you guys a little bit on here. Uh, this one here is um, Mario's House and Yoshi's. Pretty cool. And I would have thought this stuff was coming to Lego, man. It's kind of crazy to think about, like, uh, you know. The next gen stuff's two and a half weeks away. It's crazy. Um, Piranha Plant Power Slide. In this set here. It's just nuts to think about. That's that stuff's right around the corner. Here's one here. This one is uh, Boomer uh, Boomer Bill Barrage. I think I'm missing another wampum or something on there. Um, this is one of the, I think these are just the little suits for uh, the Mario piece, the Mario character I was showing you. Um, this is the Builder Mario. You got little suits and stuff you can swap them in and out of. Here's one here. This is the uh, Cat Mario. Here is, which one is this one? This one is the Propeller Mario. Get the little propeller hat on there. Get the top of that flag, you know, get that one up. Uh, this one is Fire Mario. Little outfit for him. <clears throat> Here's a bigger set here. This one's the Guarded Fortress. stuff like that. It's some Koopas. Here's an even bigger set. This is Toad's Treasure Hunt. Hopefully you can get all that camera there. Not sure if I'm in there or not. I got quite a set here on this one. See all the mushrooms and stuff on there. And this one's even bigger than that one. This one is Bowser's Castle, the boss battle. <gasps> Pretty cool. Just the back of it. So yeah, like I said, there's some of the Lego stuff that's coming along here. It's pretty neat. Uh, here we go. Here's a, a little collector's tin for Doom. And I think if it is, this was Doom Eternal. So if you pre-ordered it, I want to say it was through Best Buy or something when that came through. Um, this tin, it's just a little uh, lunch pail mini thing. It's pretty it's cool. I mean, the artwork on it's freaking awesome. It's just a cool piece to set up on the shelf, you know. You got Doom Guy just... Looks cool. So that was a little pickup I had found. I did not pre-order it through there, but I know that's what you got when you did it. Um, I ended up getting a better deal this way anyways. 
All right, so here is a couple. Here, this is uh, from Limited Run. Let's see, let's show you the... There's a little hint. Can you guess what the game's going to be? Here's a little world map for it. Let's see if I can pop this open for you. Save the world or coin and cleavage. Gee, I wonder which one he's gonna pick. <laughs> Love it. Love it. So that is this one right here. This is the remastered and re-snarkled, but this is the Bard's Tale. This is the limited run. This one originally was on uh, the Xbox and all that. Um, and I have that one too, but this is just a cooler, cleaner version of it. It's nice to have a little remaster of it. And then, well, hell, while I was getting that Bard's Tale, um, I found this one, and I had not played this one before, but this is the Bard's Tale uh, 4, and Director's Cut. And it's it's uh, like a little dungeon crawler. It's kind of cool. Pretty cool little uh, game. I had not played it before. This one, um, a good way through right now, I used to play this on the PC like crazy, and I loved it. But this was the Mafia. This is the definitive edition, okay? Um, this is the new one that came out on the PS4. Um, awesome game. Awesome story. I love the story on this. Uh, but having them uh, from the ground up, having them rework that game, it's freaking awesome. I'm um, a good way into it. And while that one was coming, uh, this one was from... Uh, uh, where was this? I think this was uh, Asia Soft or one of those on here but this is the mafia trilogy okay this one has that mafia game i just showed you also in it but it has mafia 2 uh up upgraded it's just a little bit for the playstation 4 and it has mafia 3 which is on the playstation 4 and all that so it's all three of them in here which is awesome that's just a cool little pack but this is only over in europe and stuff so um when I had to, I had to go through the Asia Soft. Uh, I think it was the Asia Soft team. Let's see if it says it in here. Oh no, it's Play Asia. I'm sorry, Play Asia. What am I talking about? Asia Soft. Play Asia is the site I ordered it on. But it's a, you know, over in Europe they ended up getting this version of that game instead. We can't, we don't have that one here. I wish we did. Because Mafia Two was a cool one, also. You know, those are just a, they're fun games. So I love them. Um, here is. Uh, so this is Yabat Ninja Gaiden Z. So I have to clean them up still, but this is uh, for the Xbox 360. This is a cartoonish style uh, Ninja Gaiden. Looks cool as heck. Um, looks awesome. Uh, Dungeons 3. I had Dungeons 1 and 2. Um, I did not have 3. So now I have 3 in there. That's uh, there's just lots of stuff thrown at you in that. Here's one that was just a deal on, uh, I believe it was Amazon. I want to say it was 14 bucks or something. But it's Neo 2. I haven't even opened it. These games kick my ass, so I don't even go crazy with it because I just I don't want to be frustrated the rest of the day, you know? Um, here was a. Um, this was an Instagram. Um, a, a friend on Instagram there uh, put this up for sale and. Um, this is freaking a cool ass RPG. Um, I had never even heard of this, but it's called Black Sigil, Blade of the Exiled. And it's like a, um, I'll show you the back here. It's like a Super Nintendo RPG style. Like the graphics are, oh man, it's freaking cool. And it even says on here, it says, uh, 30 hours of gameplay with tons of side quests. Um... Oh man, it's just cool. 100 different physical and magical skills and combos, 100 different weapons, 200 different pieces of armor. <coughs> Excuse me. This just looks awesome. And uh, happy to have it in there. I never see it in, out in the, in the stores or anything. Uh, here was one in here we picked up was the Marvel Avengers game. My, my boy right now is playing this, is going through it on his way through. Oh, here's the back of it, sorry. He's jamming through that right now. 
Now here's one I've wanted for a long ass time, man. This is cool. Um, Evo Land, okay? And this is an RPG as well. Um, there's the back of it right here. Um, and what this does is this starts you off in almost like a, um, a Game Boy style graphics, with, not even with color or anything. And uh, as you find treasure chests as you go through the world, each treasure chest you open up, you get a new take on the world. So it might just say, um, you know, all of a sudden you get it from no color to goes across the screen to color now. And then uh, it eventually the graphics start to evolve. So you start to get to see like 3D effects or you start to go from from Game Boy to, to Nintendo graphics, then to Super Nintendo graphics, then to PlayStation 1 type graphics, uh, all RPG style. It's freaking cool. It's really cool. I enjoy it a lot. It looks, uh, it, 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 it's totally a, like that, that, this edition here has two games in it. And the first one was basically, um, you know, you can go through it pretty quick. A couple of hours, you're done with the first game. And the second game's where all the magic really is, is happening. Um, that one's the same take on it, but they have more story to it. So it's cool that way. But this is a, it's a that's a I would love to for them to do more of that type of stuff in in a game. That's the first game I've ever seen where it evolves like that. Uh, hence the name Evo Land. But um, it's freaking that's a that's a cool ass take on it to see the world all of a sudden boom trees and stuff are popping up out of the landscape as you're still running around. It's just that's neat. I love that. People thinking outside the box. Creators. It's cool. Um, here is one that I picked up. Those who remain. I haven't played this one. Um, but hopefully it's a, a decent size here. And again, I will be doing, uh, we're nearing, I think, 700 subscribers or so on this. So uh, I'll probably do a giveaway or something once we get past that 700. Um, I'll, maybe I'll do a giveaway on Evo Land. That'd be awesome. We'll, we'll see. Um, here's another one I ordered. This is Get Even. These are just cool little, uh, I don't know if they're horror or... This one looks like it'd be a horror type, but just it's neat, man. What is real? I mean, she's probably freaking out with stuff. Uh, here we go. Of course, you had to get this. This is the this was the one of the new releases that was on the Switch at the time. This was the Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. This is the Super Mario 3D All Stars. So, if you have a Switch, for sure, this is a, a must pick up. You guys should for sure go to get that. Here is a, another Switch title. Um, this one's just a cool... I love beat-em-ups, okay? I'm a huge fan of beat-em-ups. And this one is uh, Bud Spencer and Terrence Hill. This is Slaps and Beans, okay? <laughs> you guys, this is a, a cool-ass game. Um, there's only 2,500 of these made for the Switch. Uh, this is number 399. But... Uh, it's a beat em up style, the old, you know, um, uh, Final Fight and things like that. But in the Western times, and, and it's just, uh, you know, they spill his beans and stuff over the campfire. It's just stupid silly. But you just go around and you're beating up all the cowboys and stuff on here. It's, it's a cool game, man. It's awesome. Uh, here is a mature Nintendo DS game. There's not many of those. Um, the DS stuff you normally think of, you know, Mario and all that, but here was a uh, mature one that you normally don't see, and he's got a huge hole blown through his head, but this is Touch of the Dead. Look at that artwork, man. It's cool. A mature rating, 17 plus game. And what it is, is uh, you, you use the stylus to do all your shooting, so as the zombies and stuff are approaching towards you, it's almost an on-rail shooter, it basically is that. So it's on rail and it's going into the rooms. But as the uh, zombies are coming at you, you're shooting at them by touching them with the stylus. And you got to drag your bullets over to your gun to reload it and everything. And you keep shooting them that way. But it's cool, man. I love that type of stuff on a DS. Come on. Um, here was one. This was a Goodwill pickup. This is King's Quest 7 uh, for the PC. Oh, I'm sorry, it's 6. Or... No, 7. This one's 7 on the back. It's a different game. Um... But yeah, on the PC, so it was, this was like, I think, 98 cents or something. Uh, but cool, man, all the King's Quest stuff, PC, for sure. This was another Goodwill, and this was, was $3.99. This is Devil May Cry for the Xbox 360. 
These are a lot of action in these games, man. And some of them, like I said, some of them uh, I'll have to probably go through and do a disc cleaning. I think these ones are actually pretty good. I won't have to even do that. But a lot of the Goodwill stuff, people never took care of it. So This one's a Switch game. This is Black Future 88. And this is a, um, a side-scrolling shooter. Uh, cool, though. It's very cool. It's in a different style. Uh, it's from Special Reserve Games, I believe. Um, here's a PS4 game. I love these horror games. So this is uh, Made of Skier. Of course, you'll probably see a lot of these games you know, further down the road now that the PlayStation 5 is coming out and, and going to hit all those. You could probably play a lot of these games on it. I'm not entirely sure on some of these older horror games, but this looks cool. It looks awesome. Brave the nightmares of the quiet ones. Do not do not panic and don't even breathe. I mean, hell yeah, dude. I'm cool with that. Uh, another VR game here. It didn't, don't have to play it, I think, in there, but it's just the modes included. But this is Star Wars Squadrons on the PlayStation 4. Happy to have that in there. Love the uh, Rogue Squadron and things like that. Now, um, the PlayStation 4 has a lot of variety stuff on there. They have, uh, you know, live motion um, games. I don't know if you've ever played stuff like that, uh, where it's just live, it's full-on actors and stuff just doing, you know, as you pick a different part in the quest, it'll go that way. And this, these are these types of games. So this is the Shape-Shifting Detective. Again, there's full-on actors and everything. But on the PlayStation 4, it's just a different, it's a different, uh, it's a limited run. It's just a cool little take on these games. I like these types of things. Here's another one. The uh, This is another live action uh, one. This is The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. And these are for the Lovecraft fans. Um, it's that style. It's cool though. Actually, I think it even says it on there. It says uh, a Lovecraftian full motion video murder mystery. So it's pretty cool. I mean, the artwork on it's cool, too, with that skull coming down on there. Uh, here is a PS4 one that I had missed on here. This is Judgment. Looks awesome. Sega game, man. Love it. Here's a limited run. Uh, this is my buddy Sean had this, and I was like, damn, I want to get that. So I had to look around uh, for it because um, I had missed it coming out. But, uh, yeah, this is cool. This is Corpse Killer. You guys remember that in the arcades and stuff. But it's cool. Corpse Killer. This is the 25th anniversary edition. And I believe Limited Run, real recently, is going to be coming out with the Corpse Killer for the Switch. So be on the lookout for that. That'll be a cool one. Especially with the gun and stuff that the Switch has. Um, this is another PS4 title. This is Remnant from the Ashes. Just looks crazy, you know. <coughs> looks pretty crazy. All right, here is a PSP title. Um, one of the real reasons why I got this. This was a PSP, the EA Replay. Okay, this has Wing Commander, Desert Strike, Mutant League Football, Road Rash, and Syndicate. Syndicate was a game I used to play. On my brother's PC when he uh, had his one of his first PCs in there and uh, God we used to play the heck out of that it was so cool um, throwing them around and and setting bombs on some of the vehicles and stuff and it was just a cool game I loved it the first mission where you had to assassinate you know a, a corporate person it was just awesome man I loved it um, here's another switch title this is one believe it or not I did not have um, but this is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I had already had it on the on the um, the Wii U and everything, so that's why I just held off on the Switch version. And but the Switch version is freaking awesome. You got Funky Kong, Funky Kong on there. Um, all right, here's another one. Of course, this brings back memories, man, from original PlayStation days. But this is for the PS4, and this is Tony Hawk Pro Skater One and Two remastered. Music's still there. Gameplay, man, it's exactly the same. It's it's nuts, you know. And I, I had my buddy Sean on there, and he was just doing all kinds of crazy ass flips and grabs and shit, just 
jumping the uh, points way up. I, he's good at doing that. He's really good at it. Um, here is Kingdoms of Amilar, uh, Amilar sorry, the Re-Reckoning. If you ever played it originally on the 360, um, they were awesome games. And to have it redone here, it's real nice. Uh, okay, so we got, we're nearing the end here. Let's see here. So we got about four more things here. This was, uh, this was, um, given to me my my buddy's daughter ended up having a couple of these and she ended up giving me one for the channel here a little donation to the channel and this is a switch uh, controller um, from PDP gaming other uh, company that does this and it's like a style of a, uh, a Super Nintendo and it's freaking awesome for the switch you know just works Bluetooth and everything but to have that feel and be able to play some of the switch games 100% on board this is cool um, Really, really nice. I think there's a rumble to, to it as well. It's a cool little controller. So, Abby, thank you very much. Uh, here we go. This is Streets of Rage 4. And I believe this is for the Switch. This is the new one that they did with the you know the artwork and everything. Which, I, God, I wish they'd just keep doing them. I love them. This one does have the keychain and uh, other stuff in it as well. Uh, it's pretty neat. All right, and this was one, uh, these were some Goodwill pickups. These last three, these are the last three I have here for today. Um, these were all Goodwill pickups, and I just didn't know some of them. This one's Myth Makers, Trixie, and in Toyland. I didn't know what this was, so uh, I picked it up. This is for the Wii, and I don't think it's worth very much, but it's just something I normally don't see. Um, this was, uh, of course, on a Goodwill, too. You're starting to see PS4 stuff at Goodwill now, guys. It's kind of crazy. But this was NBA 2K16. Um, like I said, this was a couple bucks. But PS4 titles at Goodwill, it's kind of weird to see that now. But that's how it's going to be. You know, when you have the PS5 hitting. And this last one here, this was uh, Halo Wars. But this is the full, like, tin set. Um, it's kind of crazy. It's crazy that they have all this in here. But, uh... Yeah, it's freaking awesome, man. So you got it all in there. And that's what I have for you guys today. Uh, thanks for tuning in here. Um, and, of course, if you guys uh, have any uh, suggestions or anything on here, or as we're hitting into these uh, things, don't forget to subscribe and like if you do like watching these videos. It's fun to do them. I like getting this stuff and showing you guys on camera. I have another whole set over here to, to film for a different time. But... Uh, yeah, if you guys like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like I said, um, once we get over the 700 mark, I'll probably do a giveaway. Um, and then I'll I'll do a video on what I'll be giving away on there. Um, maybe I'll do that Evo game. It's, it just sounds cool. It's, I want people to experience that. It's freaking awesome. It's a cool, it's a cool game. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.